plant and animal cells release from glucose, not directly energy, aka ATP, which is like a cell breathing. This is from respirating. Needed to power each body process. If you don't know by now, then this is called cell respiration. A living organs are formed, this cool process can't be done without glycolysis. Broken up means sweet and split apart. Cell respiration also needs the Krebs cycle, followed by the ETC, short for electron transfer chain. Cell respiration, let's go back to that cycle for each pyruvate molecule inside of the matrix. Cell respiration goes through this cycle two times around using glucose and 2 FAD along with 8 and 80 plus. Cell respiration producing 6 CO2 to ATP or energy as well as 2 FADH and 8 NADH2 that go to the small ETC to produce more ATP now let's just repeat the Krebs function it uses chemical reactions to make ATP so the cell can be respirating now we can move to the electron transport chain attached to membrane cell respiration in ADH oxidize as well as FADH releasing hydrogen atoms cell respiration electrons pass through proteins the proton moves through proteins into the intermembrane space cell respiration protons return to the synthase of ATP using PI plus ADP cell respiration called chemiosmosis cell respiration the final acceptor for the electrons is said to be oxygen oxidative phosphorus Correlation is the result of Kimmy plus the ETC. This produces 26, 28 ATP, and 6 H2O, 10 NAD plus, and 2 FAD. Made from 10 NADH and 2 FADH, all in order to make ATP. The energy our body uses. Use because it is the energy needed to perform anything inside our body. Cellular respiration.